Okay, so in the last video we went over some strategies and techniques to improve your deep breathing. In this video, we're going to be looking at exercises to improve your rib expansion and also to address any sort of stiffnesses in your thoracic spine. Now, what do we mean by the thoracic spine and why is that even important? Well, if you look at my lovely assistant here, when we say thoracic spine, what we're referring to is this region uh, right in here that's located between your upper neck and your lower back are often called your mid-back. Um, and this is important because it not only provides the structural support and protection for your vital organs, such as your lungs and hearts, but it also serves as the attachment point for your rib cage. Um, whenever you take a deep breath in, your rib cage should expand out to the side, a little bit forward. And what this does is gives your chest cavity enough space for your lungs to inflate and allow you to take in that deep breath. And the spine here, your mid-back uh, thoracic spine, is what provides the structure to do so. Um, over time, as we age, studies have shown uh, that your, the mobility in your thoracic spine tends to decrease uh, over time. And this is especially important for our elderly population. Um, also, with this uh, day and age and you know, constantly sitting in front of our computers or TVs, we tend to assume bad posture, uh, you know, which oftentimes closes off our chest cavity, makes our back really tight, and causes us also to use our upper trap muscles, accessory muscles, uh, in order to breathe, which is a very inefficient way. Um, so these exercises are going to help improve this mobility in this area here. Um, we're going to take you through them and hopefully that should alleviate some of your breathing symptoms. And this is a good one to work on to improve your mobility in your thoracic spine and also work on inhalation and exhalation. So the position that we're going to get into, and this is a good exercise I like to use in my golfer population, you're going to start by crossing your legs, roll your shoulders back, okay, assume upright posture, place your arms right over your head, that way you're opening up your chest cavity, okay. In this position, you're going to rotate, try to go as far as you can go, until you feel some restriction right there. Side bend to your right. This way you're opening up the left side of your chest. Deep breath in through the nose. And then blow out using first left technique. Okay. After that, you're coming back into starting position. Rotate a little bit more. Okay. Side bend and repeat the same thing. So each time you should see Improvements in mobility, at least another 15 to 20 degrees in each direction. You want to repeat that 10 times to each side. All right, the next technique is going to be for thoracic extension or mid-back bending backwards. Okay, you can get any bath towel or sheet, roll it up until it's about a cylinder, about this thick. What you do now is you sit in the chair and you put it right in the spot where there's stiffness. So, for instance, if I do this right here, I'm going to put the towel here. And I'm going to try to bend back through that spot. Once I get to my kind of barrier, I'm going to exhale and try to go even more. Come back and again, I go back, exhale, and go even more. You may feel a popping sensation when you do this, that could be relieving. It's simply just nitrogen gas releasing from the joints, nothing to be alarmed about. So the next thoracic exercise we're going to work on is called open books and this is a good one for patients that can't tolerate a sitting position. They can do it in supine or laying down as well. So I'm going to take you through that one. So you can use a bed, yoga mat, whichever you prefer, laying down on your side. You can place a bolster or a pillow right between the knees to give you some support. Okay. So laying here on your side, you want to keep your arms out in front of you. The whole goal of this is to improve your thoracic rotation, but we're also going to be incorporating some breathing techniques as well, okay? So starting here, you're going to open all the way up as far as you can go. And at this point, take a deep breath in and then take a deep breath out, coming back into your starting position, okay? Deep breath in, and deep breath out back into your starting position. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not rotating too much in your hips and always keeping your hips forward. Uh, three sets of 10. All right, so another thoracic mobility exercise that's going to be effective at improving range of motion in the sagittal plane or the plane where we bend over and bend straight back is going to be something called a cat and camel stretch. So 
You can do this on your bed. You're just going to be on your hands and knees. You're going to start in a neutral position. And what you want to do to start is arch your back and look up towards the ceiling. Hold this for about five, 10 seconds. And then you're going to hunch over and look down. Hold the same amount of time. And then go back. So you're just alternating between positions to give a stretch in both positions. Always making sure to breathe in every position. Exhale, put them at the end range. And switch. This is another variation that can be done in a standing position. If you need extra support, you can hold onto the wall. And for the purpose of the video, I'll show you the left side, but it can be done on both. So what we'll do is left leg behind you, stay straight, you'll lean forward until you feel a stretch on the front of that hip. And I'll show you two different positions that you can do for this exercise. First one, as the arm comes up and back, you'll breathe in through your nose. As it goes down, out through the mouth, using pursed lip breathing. Second variation, starting position is arm overhead, and you'll side bend to the opposite side. As you side bend, in through the nose, opening up that chest cavity, on the way back, out through the mouth. All right, so we hope you found this video to be helpful. As mentioned, try these exercises on a regular basis throughout the day, whether you may be um, having mild symptoms of breathing issues, or you may be asymptomatic. Uh, take 15 to 20 minutes out of your day just to go through these exercises uh, to improve your respiratory health. Uh, as always, continue to stay active, go for aerobic exercises, whether that means walking uh, or going on a treadmill, just to improve your general mobility and health during this time. Uh, and as always, practice safe social distancing. Uh, don't go out if you don't need to, especially if you're in that older elderly population over 65 that has comorbidities and may be more susceptible to uh, getting the virus and uh, stay healthy. Um, and together we can flatten this curve.